10 Easy Steps to Design and Decorate Your Home Let's be real. Designing and decorating a room is tough for many people. Trying to make a space look good and work well can take a lot of time and money. And sometimes you still don't get a room you love. But here's the good news. It doesn't have to be that hard. Most designers have a set way of doing things, and I'm here to share that with you in a simple, clear way. By the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to make any room look great. And guess what? It's just 10 steps. I'll guide you through each step to design a room in your house. You'll learn how to nail the basics of creating an incredible room design. This includes finding your style, picking a color scheme easily, choosing the right size rug, picking furniture, setting up lighting that's both useful and cool, adding the final touches like window coverings, plants, and accessories. Plus, I'll give you some links on where to buy stuff. Let's get started. Step number one, measure your room. Honestly, I think this is where most people mess up at home. Ever had a couch that's way too big for your room? Or a table that looks too tiny next to everything else? Or maybe your room just feels off. Often, that's because no one measured the space properly. So, measuring your room is key. You just need to take three measurements. The length, the width, and the height of your room. Then, sketch a basic floor plan. This way, you'll have a visual representation of your room's dimensions and layout, which will help you determine the appropriate size of furniture and accessories. Once you have the measurements, you can proceed to the next step of the design process. Step number two, decide on your key activities and the number of occupants. This means you need to figure out what you're mainly going to do in the room and how many people will use it, as this will affect the layout and furniture choices. For example, in the living room, what's your priority? Watching TV alone or do you expect to have lots of guests? This will help you decide on the size of the sofa you need. Maybe a love seat is enough, or you might need a sectional sofa for more seating. Another example is in the bedroom. Are you sleeping alone and a full-size bed is fine? Or are there two of you with a child, making a king-size bed more suitable? Will you be working in the bedroom or do you need a TV? When planning your room, you first need to assess these things. The goal is to create a space that not only looks good, but also meets your practical needs and makes everyone comfortable. Step number three, pick your style. Before you buy furniture or decorations, or choose a paint color, you first need to select a style that suits your desired mood. This will ensure that your room reflects your personal taste and creates the atmosphere you're aiming for. To avoid having a room that looks mismatched or out of sync, it's crucial to have a consistent style. There are many styles to choose from, such as modern, minimalist, traditional, bohemian, rustic, or even a mix of several styles for an eclectic look. Each style has its own characteristics and elements that can help you achieve a specific mood. For example, a minimalist style might use a neutral color palette and simple clean lines to create a calm and uncluttered space. On the other hand, a bohemian style might incorporate vibrant colors and diverse textures for a more relaxed and artistic atmosphere. We have a video about this interior design style. Just check it out in the description below. Step number four, pick your color scheme. Choosing the right color scheme for your room is simple with this formula. Start with a neutral base, add accent colors, and consider the color of hard surfaces. First, select a neutral base color that you love. Neutrals aren't limited to grays. They also include beige, brown, white, and cream. These colors work well for large areas like walls and ceilings and provide a calm background for your design. Next, pick one to three accent colors to bring vibrancy and personality to your room. If you're using multiple accent colors, consider an analogous color scheme for a harmonious look or a complementary scheme for more contrast. Both options can be visually appealing and easy on the eyes. Don't overlook the color of hard surfaces such as table legs and lamp bases. Metals like chrome, silver, brass, and gold, as well as wood and black, can significantly influence the room's style. For example, Wood elements often enhance traditional or farmhouse styles. A final tip, wait to choose your paint color until you've selected your furniture and accessories. There's a broader range of paint colors available compared to furnishings, so it's easier to match paint to your decor rather than the other way around. Decide the mood you want for the room. Light and airy with lighter colors, or cozy and moody with darker shades. Remember, paint is the easiest element to change, so don't hesitate to experiment with different hues. Step number five, Choose your rug. Picking the right rug is crucial for any room. It brings your seating area together and defines the room's zones. When choosing a rug, focus on size, color, and material. Choose the largest rug that fits your space. Ideally, leave about 18 inches between the rug's edge and the wall. In living rooms, your furniture should either have all or just the front legs on the rug. 
For bedrooms, extend the rug from under the bed. In dining areas, ensure the rug is large enough for chairs to remain on it when pulled back. Your rug's color should reflect your room's accent colors. You can go bold with patterns or choose a solid color for a calmer feel. Patterns make a statement, but remember to balance them with the rest of your room's decor. Wool rugs are versatile and suit most styles. Synthetic rugs offer affordability and style. Step number six, choose your furniture. Now it's time to pick furniture, crucial for both style and function. Think about your room's main activities to determine what furniture you need. For instance, in a living room, mix sofas and chairs for seating, adding ottomans for versatility. Include practical pieces like coffee tables or side tables. Size is key. Ensure furniture fits well in your space, maintaining balance and allowing for easy movement. Use your floor plan to check that each piece is proportionate to the room. Finally, visualize your selections together, perhaps creating a mood board. This step helps to see if all pieces harmonize, ensuring a cohesive and functional room design. Step number seven, choose wall art or wall decor. Wall art and decor, add personality to your space. Start by considering the room's overall theme and color scheme. For example, if you have a modern minimalist room, opt for abstract art or simple monochrome pieces. In a bohemian styled room, eclectic or colorful art can enhance the vibe. Don't forget about wall decor like mirrors, which can make a small space feel larger, or shelves for displaying collectibles. The key is to choose pieces that reflect your style and complement the room's function. For example, serene landscapes in a bedroom can create a calming atmosphere. Step number eight, choose your lighting. Lighting is crucial for setting the mood of a room. It's not just about brightness, the style of fixtures matters too. For a modern look, consider sleek metallic fixtures. For a more traditional space, ornate chandeliers or classic lampshades might be more appropriate. Think about layering different types of lighting. Ambient for overall illumination, task lighting for specific activities like reading, and accent lighting to highlight artwork or architectural features. For example, in a reading nook, a floor lamp next to a comfy chair provides both function and style. Step number nine, choose window coverings. Window coverings serve both functional and aesthetic roles. They control light, provide privacy, and add to the room's decor. For a clean modern look, try roller blinds or shutters. For a more traditional or luxurious feel, curtains in rich fabrics work well. Consider the room's color scheme and style when choosing materials and patterns. For example, in a minimalist room, simple solid colored curtains complement the style, whereas in a bohemian room, you might opt for patterned or textured fabrics. Step number 10, choose your accessories and add greenery. Accessories and greenery are the finishing touches that bring a room to life. Choose accessories like cushions, throws, and vases that match your color scheme and style. For example, in a rustic room, use natural materials like wood and stone. Greenery adds freshness and a natural element. For example, a large potted plant can become a focal point in a living room, while small succulents on shelves add interest in a kitchen or bathroom. Remember, the goal is to enhance the room's feel without overcrowding it. If you found these tips and ideas helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more content like this.